Welcome to Bluff Hill Jams, everybody. Uh, Bluff Hill Jams is our show here where we are very proud to highlight some of the up and coming talent here in Zimbabwe. My name is Alex Avelalamont. I'm with the U.S. Embassy here in Zimbabwe, and we are really pleased to have Nasibo with us today. Welcome to Bluff Hill Jams. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. So, first of all, what a beautiful song to start us with. So, thanks for sharing that song with us. Thank Can you, very you much. tell us a little bit about that song? Okay, so the song is called Zero. It's um, it was written by a friend of mine called Chuaneso, Chuaneso Rutsite. So um, it talks about my totem. I'm from the Hungwe, which is the falcon, and it talks about how the um, the falcon spreads its its wings uh, as it as it is about to take its flight. So I'm simply saying, okay, 
I'm starting this journey as a musician, uh, as a solo musician. So I need my wings to be spread and I, I need to take me through this whole journey of my music career. Well, let's talk about your journey as a musician. Uh, how did you get started? When did, what, what, what inspired you to become a musician? Uh, for me, I classify it as um, it's Mbira Afro contemporary music because it's just a fusion of a lot of things with Mbira. <laughs> so I've got jazz. You, you may also find hip hop sometimes. Um, I in hope the so. future, in the future, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, so anything that that can be fused with Mbira, I can I can play. Now it. it the Mbira strikes me as a very hard instrument to master, especially to, to sing while you're playing. Did that take a long time to learn? Yeah. Yeah, playing and singing at the same time. Eesh. Just like any other instrument, playing and singing, it's difficult. But you had to. I had to. <laughs> anyway. Now, when did you start playing the Mbira? Um, I started 2013. Um, I was taught by my friend as well. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So, um, from then... I never stopped. You never stopped. Mm, I never stopped. And you'll be the first hip hop Mbira musician. No. <laughs> yeah, that day. Is there no one out there? That day. Yeah. I feel like we're exposing, <laughs> opening up a new genre here. Yeah, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> so, when it, so when it comes to composing and arranging your own music, what are the what inspires you? What 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 do you look for? How does it come together for you? So for me, I, I I'm inspired. Um, by what we face day to day because I come from pain. So that's what inspires me. Yeah, even if I I try to make a danceable song, if you listen to the lyrics, they've got some pain to it. So uh, what inspired me, it's the pain, it's uh, our social issues, uh, women issues, uh, a lot of like what we face to day to day. That's what I talk about that's what inspires me okay so you're inspired by pain yeah exactly and i'll feed it to you as well. <laughs> <laughs> another common thing i mean we've heard some songs in shona and in the belly and and a lot of us who don't speak those languages can't understand it but we can still relate we can still relate at an emotional level because we can feel you know when you're singing that song there you started with we could just feel something yes yes, yes. Do you try to channel that into your own writing Yes. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's the other thing. I I try as much as I can uh, as I can to actually try to to make even a person who doesn't understand Shona to feel like how I'm feeling at that particular moment. Even like when I wrote the song, or when I was thinking about writing the song, or when I was re hearing yeah. the song in my head as well. So that's the same feeling that I want the next person to to feel. Okay. Speaking of songs, I think it's about time for you to hit us with your next one. Okay. So why don't you briefly tell us about that song, and uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, so the song that we're going to do with a band, it's called Hondo. So Hondo in our native language in Shona, it means war. So we have got different wars that we fight in our day-to-day -day basis, be it hunger, be it war, be it... Uh, emotional damage, bad depression. That's what I'm talking about. I'm I'm like talking to to the maker that, you know, we are suffering. We we need just healing. Can you just look at us and and just heal us and just see us through? All right. Well, I'm ready to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's bring the band out. Vanochemawo yo 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 y
So the next song we're going to do is called Moto, it means fire. To those who, who don't know, yes, <laughs> fire. So yeah. Peace. 
Well, tell us a little bit about that song. So uh, it talks about, you know, when you, you're trying to give someone a, a warning and then they don't listen, right? So it's just about telling people that that person that, you know, I've told you that you were supposed to do this and you didn't do that. And yeah, now see you're now in fire because of... Now you're in trouble. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm struck so much with, even though you're singing in Shona, uh, we can feel, you know, you can see the whole audience really reacted to, to your performance and Thank the passion. You. Is that ever hard to, to keep coming with that level of passion when you perform? How do you sustain that? It's difficult. I don't know what happens. I don't have a formula. To that. Yeah. But it's difficult, you know. Like when you look at the previous performance, you want to at least alter some of the things and say, okay, I need to improve on this and this and that. But, yeah, I think it's about trying to imp improve each and every time that you're, you're performing. Right, so just trying to learn and grow with exactly, your performance. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, we got another song to play. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the song and why you chose it and what it means to you? Uh, okay, so the song is called For Women. I've always, always loved... Um, Nina, Simon, like 
from her writing uh, what she used to write about um it's like protest songs most of them though but this one i love um i love it because it talks about different issues that affects women even if if you even if it was that time but it still relates to today's generation so yeah okay mind if i join you yeah of course yes my skin is black my arms are long my head is woolly my back is strong Strong enough to take the pain Inflicted again and again My name is Aunt Sarah Aunt Sarah Aunt Sarah 